Hello, this is Ken Gagney with YouTube channel GameBits here to show you how to record a Let's Play for the Macintosh. I'll go over all the software you need and how to use them. Now the first thing you need to know is that there is software you're probably going to need to buy if you want to record your screen. You might think, well, can't I just use QuickTime Player because it has a screen recording option. Unfortunately, that doesn't record the audio from the Mac. There are some additional utilities you can install like Soundflower that will get you doing that, but generally you just want to install something that will do it all at once. And there will be links to all that software in the video description. So I am going to use ScreenFlow. You can also use Snaps X Pro, but I'm going to be using ScreenFlow for this demonstration. It has a lot more functions and features than Snaps Pro. It's also a little bit more expensive, about 99 bucks. You can get it down to 94 with a coupon from RetailMeNot.com. Most important thing in whatever software you use is that it's able to record two audio tracks. You want to record your audio and the systems audio separately. While you're at it, you might want to also go into your sound settings and make sure that your output is set to whatever your external mic is and your input is the same thing if you're using a headset. So here I am ready to record and it's going to count down from three, two, one, action. And now I'm going to go ahead and launch my game. Now obviously it's recording right now but this is not part of the recording that you're going to want to put on YouTube when you're done. So you're going to have a little bit of extra stuff at the beginning and the end. For this video, I'm going to be playing Shadowgate, which I've previously done Let's Plays of. So I'm going to view my games library in Steam and go ahead and find Shadowgate. And here we are. Hello, this is Ken Gagney with YouTube channel GameBits here to continue my Let's Play of Shadowgate from Zojoy. I'm a big fan of this game, having played the original on the 8-bit Nintendo, and I'm super excited about the sequel. So my point there is that you want to be ready to start your Let's Play as soon as the game starts. If you flub in the very beginning, you might want to quit out of the game and start over. So you go ahead and you play the game for a while, and then you quit. And you probably end by saying, thanks so much for watching, this has been Ken Getty, the YouTube channel Gamus. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Let's Plays of Shadowgate. And then quit. And you can stop your recording at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and click Stop Record. And here it is. Here is everything that I recorded. So I can do some cutting now. Let's cut right there. And the way we do that is just hold down the Shift key, drag this to the left, and click Delete. And then find where we want to end. Let's say right there, click Delete. You'll also want to drag the clip all the way to the left, to the beginning of the document. Otherwise, it's just going to add some blank space until it gets to that point. So this way it starts at the very beginning. So it's actually only a 35 second document. Now, if you got your video right the first time and you're ready to upload, that's pretty much all you need to do. But there are a lot of more editing options you can play with. Now, I mentioned that you need to be able to record the two audio tracks separately. You can see here, this is one track. There is that you want to be ready and there's another track down there. And if the game is too loud, you can actually adjust them separately. So let's go up here to volume. And this one is highlighted. And we'll just turn the volume down. And now it's just the game audio without me talking. That's probably the opposite of what you want. So let's actually turn the game down. Up in the very beginning, you might want to quit out of the game. That's a lot better. So you go ahead and you play the game for a while and then you quit. So I turned the volume down by almost 60%, about two thirds. That's quite a bit. That's much better. And then you can go ahead and export it. File, save. Let's put this on the top as Shadowgate, right on the desktop. That is a screen flow document. So what I need to do is export it into something that other programs will recognize and use. So let's not scale it. We want the full size. And go ahead and save that as an MP4 file, which is great. MP4 is what YouTube loves to receive. Let's skip through this export. Now, if there are additional edits that you want to make, some of those you can do in ScreenFlow, but you may want to work with Final Cut Pro instead. Final Cut Pro costs about $300, but I've been very happy with iMovie, which comes free with new Macintoshes and can be bought separately for only $20. So let's actually open up Final Cut Pro. 
going to go to an import media, go to the desktop, choose shadowgate.mp4, import selected into a new event called shadowgate. I'm going to not have it auto correct anything. And now we can play with it in here. We have to make a new project as well, call this shadowgate as well. Let's play shadowgate. Now we can drag our video file down here and play with it. So let's say that we want to do some intro and outros here. We could, for example, let's go to, no, not generators, but transitions. Let's find the curtain, I believe it's called. There we go. Just drag that over there. And now we have a nice little curtain to open up our Let's Play with. Make that open only. But, uh, and actually the Let's Play starts right about there. So delete that. There we go. Ken Gaddy of YouTube channel GameBits here to continue my Let's Play of Shadowgate from Zojoy. How neat is that? Now let's put an outro at the end. And we'll create a transition so it's not quite so abrupt. Do a little cross dissolve. It'll say that there's not enough room. We're going to create it anyway. And there. Let's play of Shadowgate. And of course, there are a lot more edits you can make. For example, let's say that I died a lot for some reason, and I didn't want to include that in the video. I could just switch my blade tool, blade, and I'll cut here and here. And now I can just go ahead and delete that section. And then the game will skip right from one section to the other. So if there was a lot of times that I died in a Mario game, for example, or if I just want to speed up a certain section of the game, I would still blade it, but then I would go to retime, which I just do by pressing command R. And now I can speed it up by say 4% or 400% rather. And I can actually switch to, let's see, audio only and drag this down and blade that right there. And now I have some Benny Hill music. There we go. go ahead and you play the game. So that would obviously be a lot funnier if I was playing, say, a Toad game, for example. And then we would just go to Export, Share. I'm going to go to Master File, which will output an MOV file. If you have the compressor utility installed, you can choose even more options. But I'll show you what to do with an MOV file. Let's watch this get exported. And the reason I don't export directly to YouTube is because I want to keep an MP4 file locally in my archives, and so I create that as an intermediary. Now I have this set to automatically open Handbrake, which is another free utility you can use. So let's go ahead and open lpshadowgate.mov, which is the file we just created. And I'm just going to click Web Optimize and Picture Settings. This program has the tendency to crop your video if it thinks that there are black frames on either sides, but I prefer to have the original size. So I'm just going to change all these to zero. Basically, you want to make sure that all these three numbers are the same. That's all. And then you just go ahead and it's web optimized. You click start. It's going to turn that MOV file into an MP4 file. And of all the video rendering programs I'm showing you in this video, this utility is the fastest. So now we have lpshadowgate.mp4 on the desktop. And we can just go into youtube.com slash upload. And I'm going to make this an unlisted video because I don't necessarily want everybody to see this. And up it goes. Let's play Shadowgate. I have some default keywords here which aren't necessarily relevant. So I'm just going to do Zojoy and Steam. And this is going to be monetized. And I'll put a description here. I show everyone how to record an LP of Shadowgate Mac. And then if you have a custom image, you can upload that here. Just find a JPEG that is roughly the right dimensions. Otherwise, the YouTube will offer you three stills from your video that you can choose from. But if you want to see what some of those stills look like, I will just go into my video manager and you can see that each one of these is something that I made. I went into a graphics editing program, specifically Graphic Converter, and made these stills. Added my logo there and the number there to those Captain Toad videos. And that's it. That's how you record a Let's Play on the Mac. If you have any questions, 
please leave a comment if you want to know where to buy the software. There are links in the video description. And be sure to click done when you're done editing your YouTube title and keyword and thumbnails. And that way the video will know to actually go live. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching.